Welcome. My name is Susan Seipel, and I am the assistant to the superintendent of schools, Dr. John Scola, and I served as this year's Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame chairperson. On behalf of Hanover Public School District, I want to welcome inductees, board members, guests, staff, and student leaders to this important event. This evening, we will be honoring the second class inducted into the Hanover Public School District Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. The event is being recorded and will be posted to be shared with those unable to attend this evening. I would like to thank certain people that made this evening possible. Hall of Fame Committee, John Howe, Darlene Plank, Tessa Hilliard, Lindy Ling, Troy Wentz, Marie Smith, and Kathy Martin. Special thanks to Shelley Bigney, Food Service Director, and her staff for the appetizers and refreshments. Lois Doves, our administrative assistant for organizing this night, and Mr. Tim Press, director of facilities and his staff for the preparation of the room. Also, thanks to the high school administration and students for their efforts. Your assistance is sincerely appreciated. The committee was charged with the difficult task of selecting the inductees from a plethora of qualified candidates. The deliberation in the selection process was thoughtful and taken very seriously. The decisions reached were by consensus and we are proud of those elected. The inductees truly represent the best Hanover has to offer. Congratulations. It is an honor well deserved. We are proud to have you represent us. At this time, prior to the presentation, it is a distinct pleasure to introduce Mrs. Deb Smith and her students. This group exemplifies the amazing vocal talent present at the high school.
need to go off script, but I do want to mention this next song is from a musical called Wicked, and it is for good, and I picked it particularly for this occasion. Um, it is quite an honor for us to sing here, especially since a former student is being inducted, which makes me feel a little bit old, um, but also because Dr. Scola is being inducted. And the lyrics of the song I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them. And I will just say briefly that that epitomizes the leadership that Dr. Scola has taken the Hanover School District in.
Harper High School today. Our distinguished alumni represent our district exceptionally. We would like to take a moment to convey the continued progress Hanover Public School District has made in the service of our students. I've been in the Hanover Public School District throughout all my life and I highly recommend coming here. I feel like because of Hanover I'm really prepared to excel in a college environment. I just think the opportunity here is what sets this place apart from many different schools. You have opportunity to dip your feet in a bunch of different areas. That's how you discover your passions. VIP Squared stands for Visionary Individualized Planning Process. This is a goal setting program that we have in place beginning in seventh grade. VIP Squared provides all of our seventh graders with an opportunity to first research their interests and then meet with a supportive adult to set goals for the future. I love just being able to come down and work for three periods a day where I can just weld and create. Students are able to create their own robot and code it in order to complete certain tasks. The teachers are there for you every step of the way. All the teachers are willing to help students out whenever possible, whether it means staying after class or coming before to even tutor or help students one-on-one -on -one in a classroom environment. I love being able to make learning fun. My students deserve the best and that's exactly what I want to give them. Being a graduate of Hanover High School is something that I treasure very deeply. We hope that we have made our alumni proud. And now I would like to introduce Mrs. Tessa Hilliard to present our first inductee. Good evening. Our first distinguished alumni recipient this evening is Mr. W. Roy Adelsberger. Mr. Adelsberger is a graduate of the Eggleberger High School class of 1938. In 1944, Mr. Adelsberger volunteered to serve in the U.S. Navy and was honorably discharged in 1946. Throughout his life, Mr. Adelsberger displayed a strong commitment to the Hanover community. In 1941, he became a charter member of the Hanover JCs. He would later serve as president of the Hanover JCs from 1949 to 1950 and secretary of the Pennsylvania JCs in 1951. Mr. Adelsberger was awarded life membership in the Hanover JCs in 1957. In 1953, Mr. Adelsberger was elected fourth ward borough councilman in Hanover. He later served as president of Hanover Borough Council from <coughs> 1956 to 1957. He was appointed borough auditor in 1959 and served on the Planning Commission from 1958 to 1979. In 1985, Mr. Adelsberger was elected mayor of Hanover. He served in this role until 1993 and was instrumental in starting the Hanover Recreation Program and the Myers Arboretum. Mr. Adelsberger was involved in a number of community organizations throughout his life, including the Red Cross, St. Matthew's Church, the Masonic Lodge, the Republican Club, the Elks, the Hanover Historical Society, the AMVETS, the Mount Olivet Cemetery Association, the YWCA, and the United Way. He was elected to the Hanover School Board in 1979. Mr. Adelsberger devoted his life to serving the Hanover community. It is with great honor that we recognize him as a distinguished alumni of the Hanover Public School District. Accepting the award on behalf of Mr. Adelsberger this evening are his daughters, Sue Myers and Barbara Holden. It's a beautiful, beautiful plaque. Um, my sister.
sister is back here. I wanted to introduce her to Barbara. And um, my father was just so proud of Hanover and the people that lived in Hanover. And he always joined any, any organization he could and um, projects that he could come up with to make help to make Hanover a little bit better, a place to live. And um, in our home, on our dining room table, were at least eight stacks of papers or more that were very neat and he knew exactly where every paper was in every stack. And it was one of his projects or one of his organizations that he belonged to. And every once in a while he would not be able to find the paper he was looking for in a hurry. And he, he would say to my mother, Esther, what did you do with that paper? Where did you put that paper? And she'd say, oh, I threw that one in the trash yesterday. <laughs> but it was kind of a, a, a running joke in our house. But when Thanksgiving came, or Christmas came, or the table was clear, he knew he had to get those piles of papers off the table. <laughs> but he would be so proud and so honored to get this tonight. And um, it's, it's truly an honor in our whole family. Thank you very much. are those graduates of Hanover High School who have achieved success in their careers and or have made significant contributions in their fields as well as to society, the state, and or on a global scale. Mr. Bertram Elsner is a 1954 graduate of Eichelberger High School and a 1958 graduate of Lehigh University with a degree in mechanical engineering. Mr. Elsner spent his professional career advancing his family business, Elsner Engineering Works, Incorporated, where he served in the capacity of chairman, board member, past president, CEO, and secretary prior to his retirement in 2002. <coughs> During his career, he held appointed positions for Hanover Bank Corp and Bank of Hanover, Sterling Financial Corporation, Conco Medical Company, EEW International Limited, a foreign sales corporation subsidiary, and Manufacturers Association of South Central Pennsylvania. He was a member of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, the Delaware Eastern Pennsylvania District Export Council, U.S. Department of Commerce, and the Pennsylvania International Trade Task Force for Governor Casey in 1987. Bert is the inventor and co-inventor of 15 U.S. and 33 international patents, and in 1991 was named the Small Business Exporter of the Year by the Philadelphia District U.S. Small Business Administration. Mr. Elsner is an active member of the community. He served in leadership capacity in the Rotary Club, the Chamber of Commerce, the United Fund Campaign, the YWCA, the Inter Industrial Management Club, Gettysburg College, St. Matthew Lutheran Church, and most notably led a campaign with his wife Joyce to raise $810,000 for Adams Hanover Counseling Services. Mr. Elsner is also a supporter of the arts and shared his own musical talents at St. Matthew Lutheran Church, where he played his trombone and sang on the church choir for many years. Queen Elizabeth II once said, at its heart, engineering is about science to find creative, practical solutions. It's a noble profession. I've had the privilege of knowing Mr. Elsner my whole life. He is well respected in the business world and in the local community. He is a humble man, but noble in the eyes of those who know him best. It is an honor and with admiration that I present Mr. Bertram Elsner as a member of the Hanover Public School District Distinguished Alumni Hall of Faith.
Thank you, Darlene. I told her over here. Off the side, I know her since she was a baby because her dad and I played trombone together in Hanover High School. Uh, it's truly an honor and a, I'm humbled by this recognition. It's very, very kind of her way to uh, acknowledge me and what I've done in my lifetime. And a, a great debt of th thanks to my family, my wife Joyce, who's my high school sweetheart, our children, Cynthia, who's not here tonight, to she lives in New Jersey. My daughter Leslie and her husband Rob and my grandson uh, Robbie, they're here tonight, as well as my son Bertram II, his wife Lisa, and my grandson Ben. I also uh, did a thanks to Barb Rook, who I understand has prepared, proposed me for this honor. Uh, Susan Seipel, who uh, advised me that I have been selected, and also the nominating committee. I appreciate the honor. Uh, my life at Eichelberger High School, I have several teachers I remember very fondly. Uh, Mary L. Mangus, English teacher, she taught me how to outline. And I used that throughout my entire life, how to outline, how to put your thoughts down and organize one, one line sentences and, and with, with excellent training. Uh, the next one is Gladys Hahn, who was a geometry and trigonometry teacher. I recall her classes were where we had a puzzle to figure out all the angles. If you three or four given items, you could then figure out all the rest of the, the puzzle and you could chart it with your answers. And we always great, took great pride in completing those puzzles. Uh, we even tried to create our own puzzle, but it wasn't very successful. <laughs> and finally, uh, Mr. Jack Shore, our band director, music director for Hanover. I played trombone all through uh, my high school years, from fifth grade on, I believe. And I continue that throughout college. I, one of my best memories is always of the time I had with the band, going somewhere, doing something, or something real. It's kind of neat. I was part of the Marching 97 Lehigh band for football games, and we had a ball. We had a wonderful time. I was also a freshman soloist, where apparently my trombone was pretty good. Um, uh, I played a solo, which is almost too difficult for me, but. <laughs> Thank you very much for this honor. We are proud to induct Mr. Kevin Hayward. Kevin Hayward is the son of Paul Hayward and Ann Malott, both of whom were teachers and administrators in the Hanover Public School District for over 30 years. Mr. Hayward graduated from Hanover High School in 1991. He attended Slippery Rock University and Penn State University. Mr. Hayward worked with his in-laws to develop Ox Paper and Tube and Core Incorporated. He grew the company into a multi-million dollar business and eventually formed Ox Industries. Ox Industries now has nine locations around the country, employing over 400 people. Locally, <coughs> Mr. Hayward supports education through donations of products and stage props, volunteering time in the classroom, <coughs> partnering for Earth Day recycling programs, and making financial donations to benefit students. Most importantly, Mr. Hayward is leading a charge to provide the skills, knowledge, and training to tomorrow's workforce by partnering with the Educational Foundation in Ox locations nationwide. I am so very pleased to induct Mr. Kevin Hayward into Hanover Public School District's Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Hayward to the podium. Well, I uh, could tell you how to be successful, and all you need to do is have very successful people on your paper route. And three of the inductees tonight were on my paper route: <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alford, Mr. Alberger, and Mr. Lane. <laughs> so. Um, you know, I was really surprised when I was nominated for this, and, uh, you know, I'm 46 years old. I, I got a lot of room to run, I'd like to think. Um, I, uh, 
all my life I've been surrounded by hardworking people, and um, my my mother and uh, my mother-in-law, father-in-law, and you know, although I wasn't. Uh, as I was attending Hanover High School, I was not a hard worker, as uh, some of you know. Um, uh, the, the, the best part that I get to do in my job is to be able to give back to uh, the community and um, mainly Hanover High School and the Hanover School District because I was surrounded with really good parents and very good support and some of those kids don't have that today. So, um, I'll keep working hard. Thank you very much. <laughs>
at Collins for their notable contributions to the Hanover community. Also, congratulations to all the conductees tonight, Bert, Roy, Kevin, and John. Cal, Dad, never called him Cal, was a man of integrity, loyalty, <coughs> and dedication. He dedicated his entire life to helping others, never turning away anyone. He was a beauty. I did practice this, so I would cry. <laughs> his genuine dedication to helping others made him most happy. He was a caring and thoughtful man whose kindness and generosity were part of his everyday life. He was a credit to his profession and an asset to his community, serving 22 years, as Troy had said, as a solicitor for the Hanover Public School District. Even, even in death, he continued to assist the lives of others. His final wish of being an organ donor became true when he donated his cornea and both his kidneys to those of need. After his death, I remember cleaning his office with family and friends. When we found over 100 invoices, to clients that he served that he never paid for. Don't cry, Lindy. <laughs> Showing all of us his genuine thoughtfulness, generosity, and giving back to helping others. I'd like to end again with meeting Joy with a quote from one of his grandsons. Clayton Lane wrote in his document to acceptance into St. John's Law School. And I quote, he was a man whose reputation was built from the pillars of his generosity. He will be missed by many, and I thank you for this wonderful honor. Superintendent of the Hanover Public School District as this year's outstanding contributor. The Board of Directors nominated Dr. Scola was predicated on his commitment to bring to life Hanover's mission statement. I don't know if you noticed it, but at the beginning of our evening, it always starts every meeting with our mission statement. Excellence in education by nurturing, challenging, and inspiring all students to achieve their full potential, to become productive citizens in a global community. Excuse me. In every aspect of his work, he is a consummate professional who leads by example. Good is not enough. Everyone is expected to give their best all the time. When he ex accepted the position of the interim superintendent six years ago, None of us would have dreamt we'd be standing here this evening. In educational language, he was a substitute teacher assigned to an out-of-control failing classroom. But he saw beyond the dysfunction. He saw potential. It would take all of his knowledge and past work experience to take that out-of-control classroom and turn it into an organized educational leader. His list of accomplishments is long, very long, and time will not permit me to list all of it for you, but I would be remiss not to highlight a few. This district is financially secure. For the past two years, we've balanced our budget without the use of our fund balance, our savings account. While doing that, we added 13 new advanced placement courses and implemented the area's first DOTV welding certificate adding a state-of-the-art metal lab, including the district's own foundry, with additional certifications in culinary, mechatronics, and music technology. Hanover students have numerous <coughs> opportunities to graduate with advanced credentials. <coughs> Hanover was the first district locally to offer the one-to-one -one Chromebooks for all of our students, K through 12. Every day, all of our students work, 
research, and interact with the world on their own Chromebooks. Most of you remember this room as the library. Because of Dr. Scola's forward thinking, it and every other library in the district is an ILC, an integrated learning center, equipped with state-of-the-art 3D printers, laser cutters, 3D goggles, interactive workrooms, and here at the high school, a student-run cafe. When Dr. Scola arrived in Hanover, he started without any preconceived ideas. History did not hold him back. He immediately knew what had to be done. I personally believe Dr. Scola's real strength is his ability to bring together all key members of our team to support every new initiative. He has developed an unparalleled level of support of trust with the board, community leaders, staff, and parents. That does not mean we have not had some challenging moments along the way. Like when he questioned why a K through 12 district housed and financially supported an adult LPM program that didn't even offer half of the places in the, to, to Hanover residents, which I didn't know my father and I started, by the way, until tonight, I'm sorry. <laughs> was always a big one. And why is there not a campus on this Hanover High School? Well, the LPN space now is our state-of-the-art middle lab. Not only do we bus all of our students safely to school every day, the initiative brought back so many charter school students, it has been financially positive for the district. And, the la and last year, our, our um, soccer and field hockey teams played their first games on our turf field on campus. On behalf of the board, administrators, professional staff, support staff, parents, and most importantly, our student body, we are here to recognize the monumental achievements Dr. Scola has implemented to make Hanover Public School District the outstanding leader in education it is today, and for building a strong foundation for its future. It is my sincere privilege to introduce to you Superintendent Dr. John Scola. quite an honor and obviously I'm accepting this I'm going to put this over here for uh, obviously I'm accepting this on behalf of a lot of people in the room because their pictures could be on this plaque as well um, got to play superintendent uh, for one second if you don't mind I'd like to thank Dr. Seibel who organized this event and Sully Bigley's staff um, back there for an incredible meal so great job And now I, I have to give some thank, thank yous, they're not perfunctory thank yous, they're meaningful thank yous for the reason we've been able to accomplish um, so much in a short period of time. Um, Benjamin Franklin said, well done is much better than well said. So we believe in action and getting things accomplished. Um, other school districts have three-year plans, five-year plans. And oh my goodness, 10-year plans. Well, a 10-year plan would take a third grader, they would graduate before the plan was in effect. We have like three-week plans, five-week plans, and eight-week plans. <laughs> There's an incredible sense of urgency when we do something because every student that walks these halls is important to us. So we cannot waste time in figuring things to do this or to do that. We get moving and get started. If we fail, we start over. And we always have students as the center focus of everything we do. That's our main purpose, students. No more, no less. You have every student an opportunity to succeed when they graduate high school, whether it's going to Yale or working at Ox, working at Shepherd, working at Elsner, working at Oates. All those students are equally important to us. So we try and move forward as much as we can, and that is the central purpose of everything we do. Uh, first of all, though, I'd like to thank the committee um, Dr. Seifel chaired this and the board for the nomination. Um, I certainly appreciate it and, and say humble. I'm incredibly humble to be, in, be with this group of outstanding contributors as alums because they are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I would have hoped to accomplish some of the things that you've done in your life. So congratulations to you all. 
But most importantly, to start out, I'm going to thank my family first. I know my son's back there as an attorney in New York. Uh, my daughter, uh, son's Andrew, my daughter Allie, who works for KPMG. Um, the love of my life, my grandson Zach. Uh, my brother-in-law, uh, Chuck, and my sister-in-law, Sharon, came up from Philadelphia, and most importantly, my wife, Tammy. I am not the easiest person to live with, so well, I guess some of my administrators that, but I'm, I'm unbelievably focused on making Hanover a better place for all students. And sometimes that gets in the way of my normal life, so thank you very much for understanding. I appreciate it, Tim. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank the board. This board of directors does not get enough credit. Our longest board meeting in five years has been 25 minutes. Now, for those of you who know school boards, that is a miracle in itself. And the reason being, we have a very professional board, a very understanding board, and we have a board that understands that why we're here. They don't have egos, they're here for what's best for students. So we run everything in a very professional and business-like manner, and as you can see, we've gotten an incredible amount accomplished. So the board deserves a, a large amount of the credit for me standing here because without them, I would not be here. And a special thanks to what I consider her a friend and board president. She's been just sensational. We talk on a daily, I think I talked to her more than I talked to you, Tim. <laughs> but we talk constantly all day, and she's a very um, steady, influencing, calming individual that makes really good decisions. So without Mrs. Ling, I would not be here today as well. I would like to thank the community. There's many community members here today from our foundation. I see Mr. Shepard in the back as the president of the foundation, Mr. Williams, and the amazing amount of community support. What you see here today would not be possible. We would not have been able to accomplish this without the funding that we received. I know from the Wareheim Foundation and different things from Ellsner, people have been so generous in this community, it's, it's, it's amazing. But when they give us money, every money goes 100% for the students. And our students, we have about 40-50% of our students go to um, colleges and universities. Other percentage go to two-year schools. But we have a lot of students that go to work. And we're their parents during the day. And the funds that we receive from this community is, has enabled our students to get great, great paying jobs in an absolutely tremendous community, best around. Second to none. And we're proud of it. But without their support, that would have never have been done. Un there is no way that could possibly be done. Our staff, um, we put a lot on our staff, do well on our, our tests. And oh, by the way, uh, we are the highest scoring high school for any school district that borders the borough. You, use your imagination. We outscored every other high school in this area. People don't understand that or they don't know that, but it's 100%. Correct, look up the uh, school performance profile. Every school that we touch, we outscore. And that's a tribute to our staff who takes education seriously, and they believe all students can learn. You know, some they'll say, well, students are more in a test score. That's true, but usually that's a statement made because they don't think these kids can do well. Well, that's not true. We did do well. We did do well. And we did better than every school that we touch. So we're really proud of that, but that's a great tribute to the teachers and the staff in this building. So I would like to thank them very much. Um, the administrators in this building, um, right here in this room right now, the Act 93 staff, they're, um, Dr. Seiple sometimes used the term, term relentless. She tells me that I tire her out. <laughs> we work very hard. We drive, drive, drive. As soon as we accomplish something, we move on to accomplish something else. We just go on. A complacency uh, brings mediocrity. And we understand that we need to get moving because each and every day, those students in the school are our children. We have our own children, and those families are important to us. But we're a local parenthesis, and we have our own children in this school. And we treat each one of these, these students like they're our own. And we want them to be successful. <coughs> so the Act 93 staff, um, and I don't want to use names too much because um, I don't want to forget anybody, but they have been absolutely phenomenal getting together, sharing the vision, sharing the drive, sharing the quest for continual, continual excellence. And that has 
paid off greatly for our students who now have opportunities to succeed upon graduation because our whole, our whole goal was to make the diploma meaningful upon graduation. And lastly, the students. Um, we have great students. We have great students. We celebrate the diversity. Some people don't celebrate diversity. We celebrate our diversity, diversity culturally and economically. And you know what? You raise the bar, you set the expectation high, you give them the means to achieve, you give them the work, working environment to do some things that are not typical because we're a comprehensive high school. They will, they will reach that height where, uh, no matter how high you set the bar, and our students have. So um, for me, and I mean this seriously, I don't consider this a job. I, I love coming to work. People ask me why I still work because I love the Hanover Public School District. Thank you. Let's give another round of applause to all of our newest inductees. some refreshments and mingle with our new inductees and then in a few moments we'll take a short walk down to our boardroom to view the distinguished alumni hall of fame wall and take a few photographs thank you for coming please get some snacks thank you Yeah, I'm not. 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 I'm not.